Hello again, welcome to our video too. Uh, in the previous part you could see how we prepare, uh, the, how we uh, do the initial preparation of the samples since we uh, need to uh, transfer solid samples into liquid uh, medium in order to be able to analyze it uh, later on. Uh, you can see here, these are just uh, some of the samples being prepared uh, in a man manner that you uh, saw in the previous video. So this is uh, quantitatively transferred uh, uh, samples from the digestion uh, vessels and then weighed to a certain, uh, certain mass of 2% of, uh, nitric acid. Everything is being diluted with 2% nitric acid to ensure that all the elements that we are going to analyze further on are uh, stable in the cationic form. Uh, since uh, this type of dilution uh, does not fit uh, all uh, calibration uh, settings uh, for all elements, we need to do further dilution of, of samples, uh, especially uh, for samples uh, such as uh, ash samples, for example, uh, where you can uh, already uh, assume that uh, all elements are uh, heavily concentrated. Uh, since we are focusing here on major element in this uh, particular uh, example, we need to further uh, to dilute further uh, all uh, samples uh, also in a very magic manner. We are doing that uh, in our main room. Uh, so uh, as you could see, uh, all the samples from the digestion are all, all, uh, um, labeled uh, according to the um, code of the, of the sample and according to the replicate of the sample. We do the same thing for the further dilutions and we are also uh, indicating the dilution rate uh, for each sample. So uh, in order to be able to calculate the exact dilution uh, by mass, we need to do the weighing of the sample and the, uh, uh, the 2% nitric acid that we are adding uh, for the purpose of diluting. Uh, today we are preparing the dilutions for uh, sodium and uh, iron. Uh, for that one, we already know that we need 10% uh, uh, dilution. So we are first weighing the empty bottle that were already pre-cleaned with 2% nitric acid. Everything is already uh, ready for, uh, for this step. After that, we are tying the, the uh, empty vessel. And then we are adding first uh, five milliliters and we will see what will be the weight of it uh, of the prepared sample in the first step. So it is set to five. Let me do it again. These are digital pipettes, we are adding the sample, closing it and putting it back on a balance and we will see what is the exact mass of the added sample. Of course we will record this mass. And then we will tear it again and add up to around 50 milliliters because there is already a marking on the diluting vessel. We will add 2% nitric acid. And then after that, we will reseal the vessel and wait again and record the mass of the added uh, diluting reagents. By doing that, we have all the necessary data in order to calculate the real, uh, the real uh, dilution. And uh, that is all entered in Excel form that you will see in the next video in order to recalculate uh, um, concentrations from the, uh, uh, given from the, from the instrument in order to get the result, the final result on the dry mass uh, in percent or in milligrams per kilogram, depending on the type of the element we are going to analyze. See you in the next video.